guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Until now you saw we learned about uh, a lot of widgets, we learned a lot of information about uh, objects and so on. We saw that uh, we have uh, in the object hierarchy a lot of widgets which uh, they are derived from other widgets as well. And uh, of course for those which you didn't uh, came uh, uh, earlier or for those which you did not uh, check other playlists uh, until now and you basically landed right now in the first video which I am posting then uh, let me introduce you to the object hierarchy the object hierarchy says it is uh, it is uh, the way how um, the widgets are created based on some other widgets and uh, all those widgets they are derived from one which is uh, a special one if i allow to call it like this so uh, at this point let me see uh, for example if you want to create a gtk about dialogue then you should know that it is the from gtk dialogue and itself it is the from gtk window we already talked about this and it of course uh, it is the from gtk bin we are talking a lot of videos about GK container and GTK widget as well. Uh, I still had no time to create uh, separate playlists for those two widgets, but I'm going to create as well because I'm not done with some other things. And then when I'm clearly uh, that you understand these two concepts, then I'm going to provide you at least uh, a part of those two um, in some videos uh, information about them anyway uh, at this point as you see we have two more one is the G initially unown and the G object what the G object is as you probably notice we cannot click on it but we can search on it so the first thing first G object this is the thing which we are going to talk today and we are getting two links the first one it is a documentation which uh, provide you a reference about how it's working now it says forbidden which i don't like it let me go to the second one and see what happens and of course here we have uh, its main description as you can see it says the base object type anyway uh, we have a lot of functions and macros checking macros and functions we have uh, the notify signal and we have also the types and values as well and as you can see the its description it is quite complicated it is a lot of information for you guys which i strongly to suggest i'm strongly suggest to uh, read it before you check this video because once that you read it you understand me i'm going to take just a short brief on it and says that it object is the fundamental type providing the common attributes and methods for all objects types in gtk pango and other libraries based on the g object this is very important for you to know this so the g object class provides methods for object construction distinctional properties so in uh, what exactly means it means that uh, this object has everything what a widget does uh, need it means if you create a widget or if you are using a widget you know it has uh, properties or signals or both we have construction this construction uh, ways for those um, as well and so on just imagine yourself uh, for example, if you are building a house and uh, you think about creating uh, for that house uh, only, let's say, uh, four windows and one door and nothing special, maybe a roof, and that's it, and the house is done, this is your object, but you leave enough room, not in the house itself, but in the project of the house, to put some more things and next guy which is coming and takes these projects for you uh, from you and try to build a house it will start from the same project you did and it will make some changes like for example creating some rooms let's say it's creating an office and at this point 
you will notice that uh, the next house will it will be not just a house with four windows and one door and maybe a roof it will be also a window which has an office now next guy which is coming the same maybe it will move inside and it will take a house like this uh, which is already exists with uh, office inside it and he decide to make some uh, different changes maybe he want to he want to stick with it and he want to put much more information or better say better say for the uh, analogy let's say that the second guy just built it the same house with uh, rooms more rooms inside it is better for you to understand and the last thing the the next guy which is coming the third person maybe he want to decide that one of those rooms should be an office and it, it creates a house with more rooms and one office it, which will be one of them and in, 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 uh, inside that room it will put I don't know a telephone internet and some like this you see we have different no not all the people needs to have an office in the home not all the people need to have uh, internet in their home maybe I don't know these days but you understand so this basically this is what G object does G objects created already some uh, ways for you and the way some some um, uh, let's say uh, it's uh, offering you possibility to to have everything you need and what you are creating based on those things this is uh, your decision so this is the, the power of the G object this is the way how it's working this is uh, very important for you to understand if you don't understand these things uh, then it will be complicated of course I have no uh, better explanation and at the point when you are going to understand this thing better than I'm explaining to you, you it won't matter if I did it or if I gave you a right explanation or not but this is enough for you to start just remember the G object is something and for that something you create something else and for that something else you can create even more something else putting more and more information inside it but all of them they are based on that first something like I said the house in that uh, example nothing special okay so that being said we have floating references of course we are going to talk a little bit about references no, not too much because uh, we need to concentrate uh, a lot we need to understand uh, many other things but we are going to use uh, some uh, reference functions today uh, or at least not in this video but in the next coming and so on and uh, you will see the story maybe for g object and uh, let's say what's it here child it that it, they created a container and then they created a child they put the child in container and then they unreference the child and says if container at child calls uh, g object ref sync and uh, on the passing child no reference or the only created child is leaked without any without floating reference container at child can only g object ref the new child so to implement this code without reference leaks you have to be real yeah whatever uh, i will provide you something much more interesting uh, and you already understand what's the story with g object reference and so on anyway uh let's see what do we have right now because uh, i talk too much theory and i don't like to talk too much theory anyway i cannot explain too much theory no not at least that everyone understand it but like I already said in a lot of video, you don't need to know too much theory when once that you see the things, uh, how they are moving, you understand it for yourself and the way you understand them, it belongs to you. Anyway, at this point, I have a program. The program itself has a window, a grid and a button, nothing special. The window has a size, which I set it. Uh, the grid uh, has its column homogeneous set to true, nothing special, you should already know, if not ignore it, but you should know that I have a GTK window playlist and I have a GTK grid playlist as well. And about the buttons, you, you should already know, if not, no, don't worry, we have playlists for those as well. And the first function which we are going to talk today, it is called gobject set, because I already work with it, it is a function which uh, basically let me let me comment it 
I'm compiling I'm going to compile and run the program the way it is so that you see uh, what I'm doing here as you can see we have a window and we have a button inside this button took all the place from left to right and not from top to bottom and this happens the left to right place which it took it is because I set the column homogeneous to true if I want to set uh, the uh, row as well gtk grid set row not baseline sorry row homogen same thing will happen but this time from top to bottom i'm just i i i only want to show you but it's not relevant to ours so you see now the button takes all the place from left to right from top to bottom. we have no room for something else uh, here i mean we are not showing some so I'm going to remove this one and then we have we created our button with the label color click now because the button takes all the place from the left to the right uh, because we are setting the column homogen we need to to create the G object set to put some margins but what the G object set does let's see it says sets the properties on an object so every widget which has a property uh, it is uh, those facilities or how can i be better explain is th those um those uh, functionalities which you can create add and change for some objects so that uh, let's say uh, they do some different work or maybe help you to to give some different meanings for those object, objects so those are properties anyway the gtk property it is a very long story and no one seems to care much about it and i was noticing because uh, i i checked some books and uh, i also uh, read its documentation i mean there is not really a documentation about properties there is a whole documentation about properties and it is so mixed it like the holy bible and you have no clue where you need to start and so on and the tutorials on internet they are almost all the same so me i managed to manage it to succeed to create i think like 20 videos with couple hours of property where you get almost when not everything about what property are and how you work with them so just check the gtk playlist uh, of those properties gtk property playlist anyway sets the property on the object because we should know what is this if not go to the property uh, property uh, playlist the same uh cvid k k k bits. okay I have, I have no idea how you spell it uh, about uh, passing integer literals as uh, variable arguments or args or whatever apply as with g object new in particular any integer literal set as the value of the properties of the type whatever uh, note that the notify signal is square to are queried and only emitted in reverse order after our properties really it is kind of complicated way don't be afraid because uh, it is quite uh, simple once that you understand it but on, at the point when we are going to come there you will understand everything about uh, what these guys they are talking here but those description here are somehow like uh, you know what you don't need to borrow to learn this just start with something else i don't know uh, sometimes i have the feeling and a lot of people they have the feeling that that someone it is interested that you not you should not really start to learn this library i don't know why maybe maybe i'm wrong whatever okay so that being said the call of this function says we need an object and then as you can see it says the name of the first property the value for the first property followed by optionally by the uh, more names values pairs and then of course null so null means you need to inform the function that you are done with it that being said you call this function uh, you pass the widget the object which you need to check and then you you pass some uh, property and once that you have the property you pass its value and in inform you inform the function that you are done with it of course if you don't inform it the compiler should uh, warn you about it uh, missing something in the function call you see and now once that you pass it because i said i need a margin of 25 
at this point our button will not take all that place from left top and right you see now we have room here so basically this is what does this function if you really insist you can because the the documentation says uh, name of the first property and here says value for the first property followed by more name so at this point maybe you want to create something different me i'm going to say margin left margin top margin right and margin button now at this point does basically the g object set call the same thing just said okay uh, margin right i need to now you see basically does the same thing almost the same thing because if you want if you don't want to set the button then those three calls are better than calling margin because just calling margin means that you are setting all those four as well but if you don't then you need to call it at once okay so at this point this does the g this is the, uh, the thing which does the g object set function i i really didn't want to introduce right now because i, I had another uh, things uh, which i uh, prepared based on the documentation but it was there so the g object set was the first function that being said it's enough for the first video if you like it uh, please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys